Denso Sea Shield Marine Systems. Denso offers a full range of steel, concrete, and timber pile rehabilitation systems, including petrolatum systems, fiberglass jackets, epoxy grouts, and many other products. The Sea Shield Series 2000 HD system consists of Denso Paste S105, Sea Shield Marine Piling Tape, Outer Cover, and 316 stainless steel nuts, bolts, and washers. Prepare the surface. Remove weld spatter, sharp points, and edges. Remove marine growth, loose rust, paint, and foreign matter by hand and our power tools, cleaning in accordance with SSPC SP2 or SP3, hand tool cleaning or power tool cleaning, respectively. A hydraulic whirl away or high pressure water blasting system may be used to prepare the surface. If surfaces are severely corroded with pits of 2 millimeters or deeper, apply Denso S105 paste by hand, brush, glove, rag, or roller, forming a thin uniform film over the entire surface to be wrapped with Sea Shield marine piling tape. When applying underwater, the primer will be less visible on the pile. The Sea Shield marine piling tape should be spirally wrapped onto pile using a 55% overlap which will provide a double thickness of tape throughout. Application should commence at the designated low point of the area and proceed upward to the high point, creating a weatherboard effect. Hold the end of the tape firmly against the starting point and firmly press on the surface. Unroll the tape, keeping the roll close to the surface. Do not get a long lead of tape, as it will tend to fold and gap on the surface being wrapped. Apply sufficient tension to provide continuous adhesion, but do not stretch the tape. As application proceeds, press out all folds and air pockets that may occur. Maintain a minimum 6-inch overlap when overlapping one roll with the end of a new roll. At the completion of each roll, Smooth the overlaps by hand in the direction of the spiral to ensure sealing of the overlap. Locate the outer cover between the elevations indicated in the specifications and drawings. Wrap the outer cover tight around the pile and align the holes within the fastener bars. To prevent galling, an anti-seize lubricant or Teflon tape should be applied to the bolt threads prior to tightening with pneumatic tools. Using the specified nuts, bolts, and washers, as described in the engineering specifications, tighten and secure the outer cover with a pneumatic wrench to a torque specification of up to 30 kilograms or 20 pound-feet. The Sea Shield Series 100 system uses the same surface preparation paste and tape application as just seen for the Series 2000 HD. Locate the outer cover between the elevations indicated in the specifications and drawings. Wrap the outer cover around the pile with the edge seal strip on the outside of the outer cover. Maintain a minimum overlap of 3 inches with tension being applied to form a tight sheath around the pile. Place a strap at the water level to ensure a level overlap at the top and bottom of the outer cover. Fastening of the straps and buckles is accomplished with the use of a spin-tight tensioning tool.
Place top and bottom straps approximately one to two inches from edge of the outer cover. See drawing for details. Place additional straps equal distance on center from top to bottom. Space the straps 10 inches to 12 inches apart depending on the type of strap and environment. 